What is a liquefied gas? A liquefied gas is a liquid form of a substance which at ambient temperature and atmospheric pressure would be a gas. Most liquefied gases are hydrocarbons making it the world's primary energy source. Types of liquefied gas Liquefied petroleum gas LPG Ethylene Propylene Liquefied natural gas LNG and Butadiene in this video, we will discuss some basic terms used in gas carrier and discuss in detail the reliquefaction plant. Critical temperature It is the temperature at which a gas cannot be liquefied no matter how great the pressure. Adiabatic process A process which occurs without transferring heat or mass between a system and its surroundings. Superheated liquid It is a liquid when it has been heated above its boiling point by increasing its pressure and still exist in liquid state. Latent heat of vaporization. It is the amount of energy that must be added to a liquid substance to transform that quantity to gas. Now let us consider a scenario. We have a fully refrigerated ship carrying LPG cargo. While the tanks on LPG carrier are designed to stay cool, they cannot provide perfect insulation against warming. Heat slowly affects the tank which causes the LPG to evaporate and produce boil of gas. With boil of gas, the larger volume of gas will increase the tank pressure. Thus the need for reliquefaction arises. So we need a reliquefaction plan for Cool down the cargo tanks and associated pipelines before loading. Reliquify the cargo vapors generated by flash evaporation, liquid displacement and boil off. Maintain the cargo tank temperature and pressure within the limits while at sea. Now let us see various parts of reliquefaction plant. Compressor. It is the heart of reliquefaction plant. For LPG ships mostly two types of compressors are found. Reciprocating and screw type. The one shown here is an oil free type reciprocating compressor. Intercooler or interstage cooler. It is a device used to cool a gas after compression. In the interstage cooler, the superheat is reduced. Condenser Cargo condensers are used to condense the cargo returning from compressor. Most common type is shell and tube type. Receiver It is used to collect the condensed cargo. Expansion valve Expansion valve is used to drop the line pressure to tank pressure. The drop in pressure also causes cooling. Let us see the working now. For the purpose of understanding, let us color code the boil off as blue and condensate as pink. Boil off from the cargo tank are drawn by the compressor through the vapor line. The vapor then goes to the compressor. The compressor by doing external work raises the temperature of the cargo vapors so that it can be liquefied by the seawater. At the end of first stage compressor, the discharge temperature and pressure increases. The vapor from the first stage discharge is taken into the intercooler. The intercooler is used to keep the temperature of the compressed gas within the tolerable range for the desired pressure and improves the efficiency of the plant. Cargo vapors after first stage compression goes into intercooler. Thus pressure inside intercooler is close to first stage discharge pressure. The temperature of vapor is reduced from superheated to saturation temperature in the intercooler. From the intercooler, the vapor is returned to second stage compression. In the second stage compression, the pressure and temperature increases again. After second stage compression, superheated cargo vapors are lead to condenser. The vapors are cooled by seawater flowing in tubes. Superheat and latent heat of vaporization is extracted in the condenser, therefore liquefying the vapor at condenser pressure that is close to compressor second stage pressure. From the condenser, liquid is passed on to the receiver. Liquid collected in the receiver is at high pressure. From here, majority of liquid from receiver passes through to the intercooler. Since liquid in receiver is at higher pressure, and when it is injected to the intercooler at low pressure, close to first stage discharge pressure, causes a drop in temperature inside the intercooler. From the intercooler, 
the liquid passes to expansion valve. Pressure before the expansion valve is close to condenser pressure and pressure after expansion valve is close to cargo tank pressure. This sudden change in pressure causes rapid expansion across resulting in drop of temperature. Cooling down the liquid in the line. From expansion valve the liquid passes to the tank via the condensate lines. The cargo is thereby sprayed through the spray lines thereby cooling the tank. 